lovely trash can. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. I just saw a falling star. A lot of times people don't go out, they just don't even look at the stars and the moon and the power of it all. It's just, you know, there's this phony light here and all these lights and all these people, everybody going places, doing things, you know, all of this artificial light, but then there's this and it's just so magnificent. I've been gone for about a month and it's really strange to be away for that long from your country. <laughs> also was away from astrology in general. I wasn't looking too deeply. There was a lot of stuff going on during that time, during the month of August 2022, with the triple conjunction of the node, North Node, Mars, and Uranus. And during that time I knew it was coming. I knew all that astrology was going to be really rough. And there was some rough times for us in our um, in our family we were visiting. There were some really rough times, and there were some health situations, including you know that shall that shall not be named the sickness. What is that? For oil. Oh my god! I just knew going into it that there was going to be a lot of tough um, energy, and it was really interesting just to sit with it and not really. Be judgmental on it because I already knew it was coming so that's another thing I just really like about astrology knowing that something is gonna happen something might be rough and to just flow with it and everything is gonna be okay because things pass nothing lasts forever nothing back to the old ways and it's been sort of hard to get back into the flow of life and into the flow of looking at astrology and even even you know simple things like the the full moon and things that I'm I'm used to like really being integrated with technically astrologically and it's really been an interesting experience to pull back from all of that and just really feel it wow wow Oh my god. Wow. Like, feel what that big old moon feels like. Feel what looking up and seeing Jupiter is like, or seeing Venus on the horizon over there as the sun is rising. And just feeling it more than thinking about it. So this would be the moon setting in the seventh house while the sun is rising on the ascendant. How beautiful. And here it rises. The first pumpkin. Pumpkin season. I hope to get back into more technical astrology soon, but in the meantime, I wish you guys all the best and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Maria, vieni qua.